Hey y'all, what's up? It's been a minute. I know, you're like, where the hell have you been? I've been here. Number one, we're getting ready to move, so we're under a lot of pressure. And the biggest reason that we are leaving this place is because one, the management here is trash. They don't do their job. Number two, they don't maintain when there's problems that arise. Um, and number three, um, where we're moving to, they're pretty nice apartments. So I'm actually quite stoked about it. Super, super duper excited. Um, and then by the time that the baby arrives, we'll be in a house. So... We're probably only going to be in an apartment for about six months. And then after the six months, then we'll get out of there. Um, I just knew that I needed to trust God that he was going to bring my husband to a job where between God and my husband, the two of them just knew that it was going to boost our ability to be better parents and it was going to work out in such a way that I felt safe and comfortable with letting my husband work there. And, you know, between that and feeling safe, because there's some employers out there. And believe it or not, some of these people are freaking nuts. And I know y'all know what I'm talking about. So, you know, I finally felt safe. I, you know, I found refuge in God's name. And I just knew that Man, God's going to do some amazing stuff. And sure enough, this is this job starts from 7 a.m. and goes until 4 p.m. Sometimes even later, depending on the intake. But overall, it's been a really amazing experience. Um, you know, cool boss. Um, you know, my husband's younger sister began working there as well. You know, and not only that, but, you know, I'm at this place where, like, I feel safe because now I know his sister's there. I know that, he, you know, everybody there is understanding, um, et cetera. And it just really kind of put us in a better place, period. Um, and financially, it's going to give us the ability to get out of where we're at right now go to an apartment for six months and then move to a beautiful house most likely so i'm actually super excited guys and i'm not sure if i mentioned this already but we also just found out two weeks ago that we are expecting our fifth little bundle of joy um super blessed for that and um if you followed me and you follow me for a long period of time you know that our family suffered a severe miscarriage on September 11th of 2020. Um, it devastated the whole family. Like one thing that I take away from that experience is seeing how it impacted my family. Um, and I'm definitely blessed because, you know, the creator gave me another opportunity. And this time I, w I feel like I want to make the creator proud. I'm like, you called me your daughter you took me under your wing when nobody else would. You allowed me to freely and openly express whom and what I am. So thank you. I love you, creator. You are just my hero. And so therefore, naturally, I just feel like I want to make him proud of me. Like, I just want him to look down upon me and be like, wow. Like, I didn't even know that that's what I created like that. That's freaking amazing. I, I just want to leave the creator in awe. And so, one of the things that I'm planning to do is to uh, do it at home labor. Um, and I'm already in contact with a midwife. However, I'm kind of contemplating because there's a lot of factors that go into this decision. So, I'm going to talk about it a little bit more with my husband. Thank God we are not being rushed. Again, I'm going to say we are not being rushed. Thank God, because it's not it's not a pleasant experience when, you know, you spend five seconds with a doctor who is going to deliver your child 
and keep you alive. It's just like, okay. You know, it's always reassuring to know that you have more time for your body to do its thing. That your your body and you are not being rushed. It's an it's going to be an, literally an amazing experience. So I actually look forward to birthing this little one. Um, and looking back at birthing my other son, my youngest one. He is... He's sleepy, but um, he he's my hero. He literally, literally saved my life. So I'm grateful for my baby Hope, and he was my motivation, my determination, and my drive so that I can stay alive to be with him. So anyways, y'all, it was awesome talking to you. Um, press the like button if you liked it and if you agree with my arrangements and drop some comments. Let me know what y'all think.